you're gonna, you're gonna have to go to sleep and disappear. <laughs> well, that certainly isn't a T Rex. One of the best known facts about pterodactyls is that they have a silent P, which they use to blind their prey before attacking. Hey, well, that's, that's not true at all. <laughs> well, the exhibit is getting destroyed. This place is impenetrable. Is it? Because I don't, I think we can get in there. We've got a feather, which we're gonna use to tickle, the, tickle the stegosaurus. And that isn't a T Rex either. Hold on, but first, let's. This mighty dinosaur has a series of blade-like bones running along its back. Some scientists think it may have been used as a tool by bigger dinosaurs to cut bread. That's not true at all either. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's... Spinning kick. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Just give up. You'll never get in. That's not true at all. Can I smell burning? <laughs> How about I just meet you at the door, then I beat, beat you up. Where is the T-Rex? If I ran this place, it'd be right in the middle, being all Rawr! This dinosaur evolved extensive armor plating on its head, either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs or because it was really clumsy. All right, let's listen to this again. This dinosaur evolved extensive armor plating on its head, either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs or because it was really Clumsy. All right. I guess, guess that's the um. What the heck? The triceratops. All right, there's gotta be a way in there. Although this peaceful dinosaur had a vegetarian diet, it was deadlier than a Tyrannosaurus Rex, as its massive size meant it would often accidentally squash smaller dinosaurs. That's probably actually more accurate than some of the other things that have been said so far. Alright, there's a thing in there that I want to grab, or would like to grab. Alright, so I can't do anything with that. Ooh, an ancient Jurassic period box. Alright. Um, uh, I think this is going to just... Okay, did I already... Yeah, I already did that one. Uh, let's just go upstairs. Go to the di oh, different. Oh great! They haven't built the T Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. 
You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens. I probably have enough already, but... These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance, where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill. All right. Okay, just do one one at a time. I think. Uh... Uh, okay. Yeah, this this would actually be helpful if uh, we weren't, um, you know. We didn't have the times two. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, hey. oh, dang it. Yeah, that one's fine. Freaking chase a cane rolling around when I don't want, want you to. Let's just do one one at a time for now. Well, I don't know. We could do two, whichever one. Uh, goes correctly then we'll be fine after that All right, it's kind of hard to see this one over here on the right but uh I mean we'll eventually get it I think I think that's said that it no yes no no. The only thing that this is really oh, okay. I thought uh, this only going to give me caps. I didn't think it's going to give me a super brick, but whatever. <laughs> Coming I'll take soon, it. An exciting diorama showing what scientists believe our future will look like. Pending completion until we receive the model monkeys on horseback. Okay. <laughs> Making a reference to Planet of the Apes, like mon monkeys, monkeys on horseback. Horseback. And if you've seen the movie, like. They like ride horses. Or can I? Okay. This Sphinx is an exact copy of the one found near the pyramids, except with some of the missing details restored. When we ask museum visitors to vote on whether ours was better than the original, it won by a nose. I hope this mummy's tomb isn't cursed. Oh, okay. Uh, you have to match the symbols. Uh, 
Right though, it wasn't it wasn't too hard. I've got enough bricks to build that T Rex now. Oh, do you? I wonder what. I guess we can't uh, use that just yet. I thought maybe we could, but maybe not. And before before we we do that, I want to go on the other side over here. Ooh, I could use that super build. Those things are awesome. Uh, just to see like what things are over here that we could do. I found a lot of super bricks. Hmm, maybe there's something I can build around here. Hey. Quit coming telling me soon, what to do. An exciting diorama showing the many uses of hay. Dude, who do you think you are trying to come up, up in here? You ain't nobody. All right. I believe this is going to take us to Hey, I can use them to build a T-Rex. That is lucky. Uh Game, why would you tell me why would you point the arrow down? When I need to go up over here. Was there any reason to, to come in here? Like any any reason at all? No, there wasn't. There was nothing in here, really. Just empty space for the future. Literally and figuratively. Alright, you built this dude. This diorama depicts Robin Hood's less popular cousin, Robin Hoodlum. While he also stole from the rich, never really got around to giving to the poor, probably because he was too busy stealing from them, too. Oh! Yes! Bullseye! All right, <laughs> and the last one that I want to uh, work with. This diorama depicts two cavemen inventing fire and the wheel. Due to complaints of inaccuracy, we have removed the third caveman previously shown inventing the laptop computer. Now we got, we can go and build the T-Rex now, since we've done all the little uh, uh, things around here. The 
The Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest carnivores to ever live until the birth of my Uncle Dave, who can put away a meal